Hey Haas, thanks for the follow man. Gonna get started here in just a second. Hey, CCL Omega or Brian, how you doing, man? Welcome to the chat. We're about to get started here in just a second. Just got home. Were you uh, at the firehouse? Okay. Were you at the uh, firehouse? So you should be able to see what I'm doing now. Hopefully, I got it all set up right. Uh, also, need to add a couple of. That should be... no, that's not it. There we go. Uh, that's not updating though. That's a problem. Okay. It's first time really streaming in VR, so it's a little wonky. 
on a fire and then had to pick up the kids. Gotcha. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that'll be good. Hopefully that'll work. Alright. No, don't make it small. That's too small. Crap. Oh, there. Yeah. Achilles. Yeah, yeah. I got this for my birthday um, this year, but I've never streamed with it before. That's Oh, it's because it's big in the actual computer. Bye. There we go. That's... That's not what I wanted. Ugh. And then it's a little fussy. Why... Why... Why you do it this way? Can you hear me alright, by the way? Should be good, but uh, a little close to the edge of the mic thing. Oh, there we go. It just took a minute to update. Oh, it's too close to the window, but a little bit. Okay, there we go. So that I can pin. There's about well, good, good. Um, there's no echo or anything, because I was having a problem with echo when I was doing it, testing earlier. But no, that should be good. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, there's a delay. There's always a delay. Um, I think if you're, like, one of the bigger streamers, you can, like, if you have thousands of people watching, you get a little bit more... A little bit less of a delay, I guess. But no echo. Okay. Yeah, so... the re Like, this home that I'm in right now is actually done on the headset. So I'm having to cast it to my browser, and I'm capturing the browser. But if we play a VR game, then I can actually switch it to the PC capture, and that makes it much easier. So that'll be a thing. But, uh, let me move this over a little bit to the side, then I can see there's a message a bit closer, closer to the peripheral. So this is my Oculus Home. Um, there's lots of ways you can customize it. I got this big TV right here, which actually we're going to be using in a way. Huh? Oh, it's because it's not open. Hold on a second. Yeah. Well, I, I I think it's latency just because of latency, but also because it takes time for the recording software to register it, then upload it to Twitch, which takes time to process it, and then stream it back. So I think there's always going to be at least a second or two delay. But yeah, since I just started a couple months ago... I'm pretty sure it's... It, sometimes it depends. Like, I've had people in chat at the same time say it was only, like, two or three seconds, and then sometimes it's, like, ten or twenty seconds. So it, I guess it, it depends on my end and the end users. Uh, so I, I'm not exactly sure how it's all determined. But I decided... So I've been streaming Minecraft since I started... I was playing Divinity. It was like 30, 45 seconds. Okay, yeah, that's that's longer than normal. It might be because there's a lot of people watching tonight. Because normally you can also select the uh, the video quality, but right now it's just at 720, and that's all the options I've got. But the last few times I've streamed, you were able to select from 720 all the way down to 140 or 160 or something. But tonight, it's not doing that, so I think there must be a large number of people watching. Larger than the last few times I streamed, which is weird, because I streamed Friday night and last night. Friday and Saturday nights. So, I don't know. But, um, since I've been streaming Minecraft, and I just started Dark Souls the other day, the Divinity series I was playing with a friend is on hold, because she doesn't have internet right now. 
So I was thinking of doing a special thing here on Sundays where I just, you know, have chat help pick out a random game from my library of games because I have a ridiculous amount. And I have a hard time ever choosing one. So thought that'd be a fun idea. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for people to show up, I could give you a tour of my house in Oculus Home. Uh, looking to change some stuff real quick. Hey, hey Sanudo. So, CCL Omega's in the chat. One of my best friends from growing up. He said the delay for him is like really long, much more than normal. So let me know how it's going for you. Uh, this is my Oculus home. Give you a tour of it a little bit. I've got this large screen TV over here, which we can use at some point, but... I've got several clocks. I've got this nice looking clock over here. And uh, it's like rustic. I don't remember what it's, I can actually see what it's called. Ultra modern clock couple little robot guys over here. This guy's got the disky sanity. That guy's a little digital butterfly. It's fine for you? Okay. Yeah. Like I was telling him before you joined, it, it seems to vary from viewer to viewer as well. So it's kind of hard to know. I got this nice little dragon claw thing holding up magic orb, I guess. Like right after you saw that. Yeah. I don't know how it's determined. I've also got these lightsabers. Video just frozen back. Okay, welcome back. I'm playing with my lightsabers. All of my stuff, you know where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah, you're not too far from where my mom lives, and I don't have cell service out there, so I know where you're at. I also got this giant clock over here. A digital fireplace, which I thought was a neat idea. This isn't this is the standard home, but I've modified it quite heavily. There's a ping pong paddle and balls you can play with. This is my devil's hand, you know, the left hand as it is. Got a few posters hanging around. There's that poster. Got a couple paintings up here on the ceiling. They're pretty cool. So there's like different ways you can uh, Unlock stuff, and some of these I've just unlocked from doing stuff. Had to disconnect and reconnect messages wouldn't send my first job. Oh, uh, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, I, I had a weird thing with chat when CCL Omega was here at first. On the desktop, like when I was peeking through the, the nose hole to make sure everything was good on the computer, his messages was there, but they weren't here in this digital version. So I might have to be careful of that. Um... But yeah, my favorite part about this is over here. Oh, hit my mic. The uh, little blaster gun and all these targets trying to shoot them. I've only got all of them. There's been a couple of times where I've been able to hit all of them at the same time and get them all disappeared, but... I hit my mic slightly again. Hopefully that doesn't happen a whole lot. Because it happened when I was testing earlier and this table completely flipped over and I accidentally turned the TV screen all the way up there. It was hard to fix, but. So yeah, nice little balcony over here. Can I, can I, can I... okay, it doesn't want to let me go that far. Nice little cityscape going on. The loud, you mean when I hit the microphone? Well, that was loud? I imagine it probably was, because... I'm trying not to get too far away from the mic, because the Oculus mic is crap. And I was trying to get my Bluetooth headphone set to use the mic on that, but the mic on that was even worse. So I'm using the mic I've been using, which means I have to keep it stationary. 
So, all right. Well, anyway, that's my Oculus home. There's other things you can do. You can like visit other people's homes. I think you can see that much. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Um, there's different stuff you can just put all over the place. Make it bigger, smaller. That's how I put those on the ceiling. The ones over there. That is. And these ones I just unlocked today. Like, if you log in every day, you get little loot box kind of deals. That's where pretty much everything you see right here I just got because it had been a few days and I logged on. Uh, but you can just pick stuff, place it, orientate it. However you want. When you get your uh, your new computer and you hook your Oculus up, this is what you can do. This has to be wired though. This is well, you can do it wirelessly, and I was able to, but there was a lot of lag doing it wirelessly. But there's just whole bunches of stuff. It comes with a bunch of default stuff, and then like I said, you get more and more stuff as you do it more frequently, and also, I don't have it anymore, but this virtual console that's over here on this table, there's a generic game card. This used to be Minecraft, because I played Minecraft VR, and it gave me that as a, a gift, or a, a reward, or unlock, or whatever. And you put it in there, and you're supposed to be able to take these, and then put it on, and it loads the game. But something happened to it, and it says can't do it. Maybe I just have to play Minecraft VR again, but I don't really want to. It's not very good. The menus are trash. Uh, but yeah, that's my house. Can I, can I, there we go. So that's the house. Um, so my plan was... Alright, I gotta open Steam. My plan was to use this to pick some games so I can... It's a little hard to see. So, like, I was testing it out earlier today. It's a little bit hard to see um, in standard streaming, like, what all is going on here on stream, on Steam. Yeah, how did I do this? Oh, right, right. Not even there. Uh, got to... Yeah, that one. This. Steam. There we go. See, it's a little bit easier to do this than doing it just a standard broadcast because if you're watching on a phone or something, the icons are all really small. So this is a little bit easier, I think, because I can like take this and like zoom in on it. and stuff, so I thought that'd be pretty cool. Maybe it's a little bit too close, though. But I can put that over there on that big T. Well. And it says there's an error, but it's fine. So it can be up there on the TV as well. So you can put like a video or something and pretend like you're sitting in one of these chairs and but that one is massive there's no reason real reason to do that one so the whole goal is to try to pick a random game that i've never played before because I have way too many. Oh, I'm gonna have to use the mouse for this real quick. Got it. Uh, not group by click. And then unplay. There we go. Go. 
check the stream manager real quick. Oh yeah, the bitrate's still pretty good. Okay. Bitrate still. By the way, I think you guys have had a good weekend. Everything's been going all right. And right before I started, there was a guy that subscribed or followed, but he's not in the chat anymore. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he got tired of waiting or something. Okay. Let's see, how's that looking? Kind of doing the nose peak. Trying to see how I size this up. Maybe I'll make the Steam chat, uh, the Steam chat, the uh, chat window a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. It just takes a second, I guess, with everything else open. Stressful because of stuff, but other than that, I think it's been good. Yeah, I know what you're going through. Be able to get a job soon, at least. One of those things you've uh, came at the uh, job fair will work out for you. Mm, my weekend's been okay. I did a little bit of streaming, pr pretty much streaming Dark Souls the last couple nights is the only real interesting thing going on for me, but. Oh, accidentally moved. Got Inception was seen going over here. That's a good size. I like that. I like that chat window, maybe. And CCL Omega was at the uh, firehouse. He's a well, he's a volunteer firefighter, but he also was working as a, a fireman at a different firehouse. So he's he's busy, busy. I don't know if you're still a fan. But last time I said a video froze, maybe he gave up. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so these this is an unplayed election, so. Steam, if you don't use Steam, by the way, you can make dynamic collections that um, it searches for you. So, like, if I wanted to only have action games, I could cl click action, and then it'll narrow this down to, you know, just action games. Or if I wanted action adventure indie, then it'll go down to all that. So, the default here, though, I have is just unplayed. So, these are ones that I have in Steam. I've never opened, not even one single time. So that's the whole premise behind this uh, endeavor I'm going for is to, on Sundays, is to find a game, just some random game, and give it a try. And since there's so many, I always have a hard time choosing. I'm enlisting all of y'all's help. So I know right now there's only a couple of y'all uh, in the chat, but you know, if we keep doing it, more and more people will come as it goes on. So, Steam has a lot. Um, I've also got Epic Game Store. Got a handful of games on... Steam definitely has the most. I've got a handful of games on... Ubisoft you play a handful of games on Origin. I've got the Xbox PC Gamer Pass, which has new games cycle in every now and then. Um, which also includes a bunch of stuff from EA Origin. And Bethesda. And then I've got a bunch of like smaller indie ones on itch.io, itch.io. 
and like five or six on GOG. So I mean, I've got. If you add them all up, I probably have well over 2,000 games um, that I've never played. So, Sunday will be the day we do that. So this is kind of just looking through Steam library. If you see anything that looks remotely interesting, just let me know. I'm Because I was looking last night by myself looking through trying to find something to play that was just like a random thing and it uh the indecision was crushing the weight of it but i thought doing it in vr might be a little bit more interesting than just pulling it up on its own Yeah, CCL lost, so maybe his internet will. Right. So there's games from tons and tons of different genres in here. Um, Sundays, I guess, is pretty much anything's up for grabs, though, so. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, that's a demo. That's why. Yeah, there's there's quite a few demos in here as well. Um, actually, I'm going to try something real quick. I didn't try this when I was testing it out earlier. I'm going to see about putting Steam into big picture mode and seeing if that'll change anything. Let's see how this works. That sound of that traffic's kind of loud. Louder than I thought. Okay, so I closed Steam. Now I gotta pull up the big picture. Nope, not desktop. Okay, I can't do. Actually, I could do. I could just do that. I can just do the desktop. Okay, there we go. This might even be better, actually. Um, can I do... I can't do collections here, though. Although I could just do a filter. Unplay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Might be a little bit better. It's a little bit bigger, though. Nope, I... Just move you. Move. Move. I want you move. Okay, it doesn't want to move. Check. Fine. Uh, that makes it a little bit bigger. A little bit easier to see, hopefully. Okay, it's not quite as easy to scroll down, though. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I guess I'll just use the mouse for this. That's a little bit easier. So actually, some of these I might have played just back on Xbox days. Um, not a whole lot of them, but some of them. Like, uh, this Agorist game, one of these ones I played on PlayStation. I don't remember which one, but I know I've played one of them before. So, I've just never opened it on Steam. But there's quite a few games. And this way I figured it'd help out, because it, it specifically shows when one of these is a demo. Um... There was a games festival that happened back in May or something online. 
I can't remember exactly when it was, but there was a games festival. And I downloaded a ton of demos and never got around to playing them. Uh, but they're still there. So they're still able to be played. Did my did it, this window need to be refreshed again? And neither one of my right. There's no new messages. Yeah, that's big. Ageless. Ageless. You mean this one? Aegis Defenders? I think there actually is an Aegis game though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aegis. I vaguely remember looking at this one before. Let's see what it does. So it's like a 2D, 2.5D game. I played the demo of this. I have played a demo of this before, and it was kind of fun. It's gonna do. Not doing anything. Okay, I don't know why that's not playing. I've never tried playing a video in this before. But, uh, yeah, it's like a 2 e two and a half d kind of deal. And there's a gimmick of, um, like, time travel, kind of. So, I remembered it because of one of these screenshots down here. Uh, there's one of the videos. Yeah, did this, this screenshot, or video screenshot thing, reminded me when I played the demo. It was pretty fun. You want me to do a VR game? I don't. I can. I can try. I can uh, filter these with VR. Uh. Actually, if if you want me to do a VR game, I don't even need this. Because I could just pull up the VR library. Steam. Which, if that's the case, I can actually stop broadcasting to the browser, which is what I'm doing now. Because this, this place, I can't actually uh, record. So I'm currently casting it to a web browser. And then the web browser is what you're seeing right now. It's just capturing the Chrome window. And that takes more battery life. So if I go into my Steam library, where my most, all but like two or three of my VR games are, I can have it just capture it directly from the computer and it'll save some battery life on the, the Oculus headset. Which means I'm going to have to put the screen off for a second, but that kind of works because I kind of got to go to the bathroom real quick. So I'm going to put this on... Um, I'll be right back window, go to the bathroom, and switch that over. So give me a second. Uh...
yes, but not right now. Every time I close the uh, PC version of it, it does those two pop-ups every time. Battery jump. 69% still. Nice. So that's that. Close. In big picture, quick. That. Actually, I'm not streaming that anymore. I can just take the headset off. That's fine. And put the be right back screen. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, and I'll switch that over. Okay, I'm back. I'll get working on this. Uh, doing it through VR then. <clears throat> through the computer, I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was to work. That was to work. That's fine. Thought I was confused. I was confusing myself for a second on how this works. There's a lot of steps. A lot of steps. Oh. 
There we go. Should be pulling up here in a second. Tried to cr two. I'm doing this. I might be able to do that. I don't know if this technically counts as a game, so I'm going to try to do that itemable chat that I figured out how to do. But it doesn't like to work if there's not a game open, so I don't know if this will technically work because it's technically a game. Let's see. I think this is where I tested it out, so it should work. Act. Download profile. Make sure this is where I tested the other thing. Yeah, there we go. Well, the chat should be able to show up there now. I can still do that pinned one though while we're selecting. Oh. Yeah, it's that one. Ah, I did it again. Print it. We <laughs> thanks. That's that's a good that's a good one. Yeah. Oh until Okay, so it's right there for right now. And then in, when we get into a game, the. Hold up, I. When I tested it before it worked. Oh, there it is. Okay, maybe you sent the, the Wii message before I connected that, and it doesn't show past messages. I got the XD right there. Okay. So those are recent stuff. There is like this leaderboard thing over here that has like a uh, you know single player stuff by player count, multiplayer by player count, free apps by player count. Um, but these are recent things. So these are all things I've actually I haven't tried all of these because I know I haven't done Phasmophobia or Skyrim or Out uh, Half Life Alex in VR. I don't believe I did Job Simulator. I know I haven't done Accounting Plus. I did try Subnautica. Um, I have done Google Earth, Labs, Star Wars, Troy Bear Bay. So I've done some of those. I think those might just be like the most recent things because like that one I bought not too long ago. Skyrim I think I bought back in spring. But there's... No, that's wrong button. That's button. There we go. So this is the Steam VR interface. So this only shows games that can be done in VR from the Steam library. And this also is the Steam house. Not as interesting as the other one because there's not like stuff you can do. I mean you can change it. But it's not as interesting, I think, in my opinion. But so these are all the VR games possible. Does it still come? I did not. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get the VR capture. Out. There we go. Now you should be able to see. Um, I'm not sure what the best cropping is for this because the default says none but that might mean you could actually see more than me I can also do by nine that's too much that's too far out It's still a little big, but how does that how does that work out? Uh, 
That's good, I think. Trying to figure out exactly which one would be better. Looking right there. I think that's I think that's the best one. Except it's not covering the entire. And that one does. Okay, so that's the that's the best one then, because it fits the window. So there's a counting plus. I've done some of the hand lab. I haven't done all of that. Arizona Sunshine's like a zombie thing. Blind is based on like sound waves, so it's kind of like sonar. Uh, some of these I don't even remember. Elite Dangerous I've never tried. I've done it without VR before. Of course, Skyrim I played through. Lot 4 VR. I forgot Hellblade in a VR version. Um, Praise VR is not, it's, it's like a multiplayer thing, I think. It's not the main game. Mm. Scanner is somber. That's actually one I, I wanted to play a long time ago and never got around to playing. Because you can play it in VR and non-VR, and I wanted to wait until the um, until I had VR before I played it because it looked like it would be much much better in VR than not. Well, there's not as many. Uh, possibly, but I don't know if it would be good to do alone. I'm not. I've only played it once. I've played four hours, and that was one time. Oh, it keeps dropping that. Yeah, I've only played it the one time, so I'm not very good at it. It would be intense. Yeah, the guy I was playing with, I was playing with Fox, and he was playing it in VR. I don't know how he did that because. I feel sometimes like games I feel like it's harder to move around. And that one you do have to move around to avoid the ghosts and such. And there's apparently a new game that's similar to Phasmophobia, but apparently the ghosts can like chase you out to the van. I just uh, saw somebody talking about that last night, I think. Night before last, in the last couple of days, I saw somebody talking about that one. There's actually a couple of VR games that are on sale on uh, on Humble Bundle for really cheap. I might end up getting. I don't know if they're like, good or anything, but they looked interesting. Definitely. Yeah, this one I really wanted to play back in the day, and I never got around to it. Yeah, I, I don't remember what it's called. I, I only heard the name once. Um, these are people's screenshot. This isn't the uh, official, not the store page screenshots. I don't know if I can find the store page in this. I can't go to the store. Not search.
Okay, there's no searching in the VR version of the store, apparently. Which is interesting. Is that a VR game? I feel like that's not a VR game. I definitely feel like that's not a VR game. This is just a general store. It's not just VR stuff. Uh, but I'll see if I can find scanners. It's keyboard. Uh, it's not doing anything. No keyboard. Keyboard, keyboard's not working. Nothing happened. Okay. Well, I guess that's pointless. Then. Yeah, I just think it's weird that, you, like, in the normal version, you can, like, click on it and go to the store page, but... Not here, my friend. I don't know why it says disconnected right there, too. It, it's connected. Like, even when messages come through, it still says that, but... We do them. Okay, that doesn't want to work. Well, I'm in. Um... Hey, Thief Echo, you're in the chat. How you doing, man? And it does look interesting. Okay, well, if you're up for it, we'll try that one. It's kind of, if I remember right, it's kind of like a semi-horror game. I don't think there's any actual scares. It's supposed to be like the ambiance is, is um, a little bit terrifying. So I'm going to unpin this chat right here then because it's going to... Actually, I guess I could leave it. But we'll, we'll try out this this uh, this chat I got down here. It gives a little notification beep whenever a chat message comes in. So... So it's a little bit more immersive. I'm also going to have to back up some because I'm really close to the edge of my safety border and it pops up. You don't see it when it pops up, but it pops up for me when I get too close to the edge. And I'm trying to stay close to the microphone, but it's a little bit hard to do sometimes. I'm trying to adjust this so I get the best uh, clarity on stuff. All right, let's see, we've got options, English, res, there's no higher than that, fine. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what we've got. Definitely tricky. Okay, the uh, chat thing's not coming up. It's supposed to be like that. Hang on. Maybe it filled it. Application still open. Oh, it's not showing on stream. I'm seeing it right now, but it's not showing on stream for some reason. Hang on. Maybe it's regular game capture. Uh, 
play. No. Why? Yeah, it's not... I'm seeing the game right now on my headset and on my monitor. But I'm not seeing it at all on the stream. It's just like a mountain range at night for you guys. <laughs> Let me try quitting and opening it back up. Actually, I'll even just quit that real quick. And, uh... See if I load it back up. Maybe that'll do it. Or... Instead of that, I might just be able to launch it directly from that window. That'd probably be for the best. Unless... Oh, it's freaking out. Oh, that might just be the delay. Oh, well, shoot. Because yeah, it's delayed about 20 or 30 seconds on me right now. Either way, I'm going to see if I can load it directly from the main menu. Hold on. That might be the best option. Because that's what I've done before, but. I was in the, uh, because it's technically two apps running because it launched it through Steam VR instead of opening it straight directly through the app itself. That's just black. Maybe it's just this game. Maybe this game just does not like to be captured. I guess I could just do this. This isn't the best though, because hmm. Yeah, and the chat thing's not coming through either. Although the chat thing died. Let me open that back up. If it will open back it will not open back up. Because this game is launched. Mm hmm Manually launch it. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Acting the chat. Connected. Okay. All right. Well, I heard the beep, but I do not see the message. Oh, I didn't turn on the. Okay. That didn't work. 
work either. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be having the window open over here then. But, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I heard the beep. The program's open, but it's not, not pulling it up. It's not capturing it. I didn't pin that. But I'm not, I guess I'll still get the beep through the program, even though I can't actually open it. But at least the chat will be here. I'll uh, move that a little bit further to the side, and then when I get a beep, I can pull it up. But yeah, it's capturing it now. Right? Yeah. In the middle of like a little tent. First aid kit. I don't know how I just moved. Chat's kind of going through. The bright stick. the tent. sure why it's being funky. Now it's black. Okay. Oh wait, do I have to actually walk? Hold on. Why? Why black? Goodness. Oh, here we go. Oh, it was just black for the. I was just looking at black. I don't understand how to move. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I've never played a game that has movement quite like this. Oh, so that over there. That's that's a glowy thing. But can I a photo of purple kids and a woman? Oh, so dark. It's beeping up there. Hold the trigger. Fire escape. Trigger. Trigger? Oh, that trigger. Okay. All right. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is cool. I don't know what the different colors mean. I guess that's proximity? Red is close to me, and now... Uh, it's cooler. Like, the higher intensity on, like, a rainbow is red. Blue light's a little bit less intense, so it's... 
Let me, let me test that actually. Yeah, that's what it is from, from where I scan it. So like, I come over here, then it's red. Then it gets blue. And then it turns more red. Yeah. Is that coming through? Looks like it's good. Checking a couple notifications real quick. Heard my phone beeping. Make sure it wasn't an emergency. I was talking to my mom earlier. They said they got a bunch of rain where they're camping out right now. Yeah, yeah that's pretty sweet. I like this. It remembers too. Oh, and it does change as I move. Okay. Actually, this chat window is going to help keep me uh, orientated because then I know if I look at it, I know where the mic is because the mic is right in front of me right now. Doesn't move very far ahead. That's an option. Yeah. I'm not left handed, but. I want to move with my right hand so if this actually works. Even though this is called left handed mode, it works better for me. Because movement and the field of view is controlled on the right hand in left handed mode. All the left hand does is scan now in left handed mode. I'm fine with my left hand just doing that by itself. I'm not overly concerned. Oh, actually, now that I'm actually playing a game, I'm going to update the uh, stream info. Too. I just heard steps. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. I didn't step. I ain't no stepping. Oh, that's cool. You can see through the wall. So like that's just where I was with the tent was. Yeah. There was a little way over here. Slip around. Uh, I just slip around. Right. Okay, okay, let's do that.
let's go. Oh, that's squishy. Oh, that sounded squishy. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't like the squish. Oh. It almost looks like some kind of fuzz, like some kind of growth, even though it's supposed to be light. Like, look at that. Maybe it's not light. Maybe it is some kind of bioluminescent fungus or something. Not sure. Not entirely sure. Really cool though. I like it. Interesting. Nobody has been as deep as this for thousands of years. I was utterly alone. No call for help would have ever reach the surface. That's reassuring. It does have a creepy vibe, but it's surely unique. It definitely is my friend's. Wait, what did it say? Crap, I didn't, I didn't catch that. But I had to know if the myths were true. I'll have, to check, I'll have to look at that in the VOD, because I thought there wouldn't be that much message all at once. I thought I was going to wait until I stepped forward to continue. Some kind of myth. Thousands of years ago. At least there's no squish anymore. So I'm not stepping in the squishy squash. Ah, oh, look at that. You can see all the way back to the beginning. Kind of. Oh. All up there. Mm, too close to me. Water. There's like little ones popping up in this. Like. That one, like, right there. You see my controller hang? Hey, you can't. There's, like, little floaty ones, too, that are, like, in midair. What did they hit? If there's one, like, right there. Like this one, like, right here. Like, what is that? What does that hit? It's not moving. I can't see it anymore. I can't hit it too much. Maybe I'm painting too much. Because you paint too much, it's just like a blue. The scanner is really big, by the way. Massive. I think I'm in the wall. Yeah, I was in the wall. And there's like little... Reckless. I 
is really cool. I like it. But it is. Oh, there's a squish. A unique kind of. I'd say terror, but. Definitely creepiness. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. Maybe. And a clip? That's a... That was actually hard to tell if that was a clip or not. Ah, so it's actually better to do it from far away. Because that just painted all that. That was black. Okay, that's my hand movement making sound. Thought there was something like creeping behind me or something. This hand makes much more sound. Again, squishy squash. I think I might have a range on it because I feel like, like that over there, that far away wall would have been painted already if I had when I was back over in that corner doing it. So it must have a range. You gotta be close enough, but like not too close to get it like really painted. But my hand movement making sound, that's what's getting me. I ain't thinking there's something around, but... Unlikely, it's just... A hand. to go. Tight space up here. Okay. I can fill that in pretty good. So. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty.
Is that an alternative one? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Probably pretty linear, but there might be like secrets or something running certain. Coming across dark patches. Dark patches. I don't like dark patches. Dark patches ain't no good. Dark patches. No good. It's a little wobbly, but not too bad. Not too bad. Nothing wrong with a little bit of wobble on a bit, right? I did. I, I'm right now. I'm using um, the stream manager on Twitch's website, by the way, because um, I noticed. That most of the things I need to use the streaming software for, I can do through Twitch's stream manager, except audio inputs and like video inputs. But pretty much everything other than that, I can do through Twitch's website, and it um, gives bitrate stuff information. Great stuff. I A whole lot else. Oh, what is that? What is that? Machine? Oh, there's like a little overhang thing. Oh. Is that scanning for me? Oh, it is. Oh, that's like a bridge. Music, no. 
creepy music, but... What is that? It's like an upside down... Side of it. I, I haven't been able to interact with anything else, so I don't know why I would. What are these structures? I know that's a bridge. It's, it's a bridge, but what are these things? Pillars? Kind of architecture? Black type, black knight metro. Yeah, this is this like arch stuff that's really not metro. It's all over. Something's ticking. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. Hear it? That thing. There's a red light on it too. That's not natural either. Well, it said something about myths. I, uh, I'm guessing whatever it was, I'm exactly a myth for real. I mean, that not like a. Another scanner? Aperture control. Some sync to change it. Oh, so I can focus it. Okay. Could this place have been even older than legend suggested? The resolution was astonishing. Never before had never before had such powerful geological scanner been available. Uh, well then, how did it get here? It's basically an upgrade of what I already had. How did? The upgrade get here then. Alright, so right is wider, left is focused. Oh, these are steps. I can't go through there. Sorry. I've been sitting down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up and see if I can see anything. That is different. Like an urban person.
I guess up the bridge. Ooh. Can I go up the bridge? Apparently. You have to be careful of the gap. Where can I? Squish. I try again. Did I just not? Of it and then... Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I should be careful of where it. Well, it's a step. Or maybe some of the planks just fall out on you. You have to be careful. And like rescan it after they fall apart. There's only one person watching. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Still in chat though. Yeah, it's saying there's only one person watching right now with a bunch of people in chat. Well, not a bunch, but a bunch for me. some static. I'm assuming that was from in-game, because I've never heard that um Oh Uh Hey buddy You uh Oh yeah, the static's the only when I hit him. Here, over here, it's fine. Hit him, that's static. Well, um... I hope that's a statue, and not, like, a robot or something. Keep an eye on you. Is he turning to phase me? Or is that in my mind? Way that way. Maybe. Looks like that might be the way to go. He is turning to face me. It's every time I look away. What 
if I walk backwards? Come after me. Come after me. Steps. Did you do it? Oh, is this? That might be the way that was blocked up earlier. Okay. Oh, what the face of the camera? That might. Can you die in this game? I don't know if you can die in this game. Uh, I don't like that he's red. I don't like that he's red. I'm behind a pillar. Okay. He does it even when I'm behind a pillar. Well, he doesn't seem... Run away. Oh, I thought that was no one. No move. Yet. Not moving. Yet. Not that way. That's a dead. That's, I thought there might be another one. It's tanking a little bit, but it's still good. It's still green. Oh, wall. Ran into a wall. That's a drop. Might have to take the drop on her. Yeah, 
Yep. Take that jump. No, that's not bad. Right there, at least. Make my way to go. Check my battery level. I've got a menu open. Up. Uh, looks like it's about half. So. Doesn't give a percentage; it just has a bar. Oh, I do have that. Oh. oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. That's on display capture, but... Chat window is on that display, but because I have it set up here, it's not actually... That's really funky. That's real funky. chat window doesn't show up for you guys when it's in this mode. Okay. Okay, well I can see it. I guess that's good that it doesn't come through on your end then. That kind of will help me orientate where I'm looking. And you guys can't even see it. Okay. Nice. Sweet, sweet, sweetness. Again, first time I've actually streamed a VR game, so 
still learning some stuff. I did some test recordings with, with the streaming software, which is what the uh... but um, I did my first test recording for how VR streams would go. And I did that on, well, I did it with the same software I used to record, but I, I just did a local recording. I wasn't actually live. So stuff with the chat, that, that's, this is the first time I've, I've done it live to uh, see. And there's multiple ways to do it and stuff. So I'm not exactly sure. I wasn't exactly sure how it would work, but better idea. Is that pipes? Looks like pipes. Oh, or is that more supports for the bridge? But that that one's not connected to. Oh, there's multiple bridges. Oh. That's useful to know, because there's a chat window right here for me, but it's not there for you, right? Yeah, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Oop. Accidentally double tapped my headset. And that, that sets it to where the cameras show what's actually in front of me in real life. But yeah, the other the other method I was doing, you would be able to see that chat window. But because I switched it to PC controlled, um, because I switched it to PC controlled. Oh, the battery is low. I just got a pop up for that. Okay. I don't know how much more there is to this game. I don't know how long it is. I don't know if it can save either, actually. Oh, you can't save. Okay. Glad I found that out. I'll keep playing for a little while. Uh, hold on. Let me actually pull up the battery percentage. I'm gonna have to put on a. Uh, have to put on a. Screen broke. Oh, it says nine percent. Oh, yeah, this is not a. Uh... It was only ten percent of the game. I guess I could be going faster now that I've got the hang of it, though. And now that I have a better understanding of how the streaming and VR works, that bridge fell down. Oh, I'm not streaming. Right, I got it. Gone. I close this and then pull up. Uh, 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 it's at 25%. Yeah. 25%. I can do a little bit more. Maybe not a whole lot, though. Pull it right back up, or do I have to technically launch it? I think it's technically going to launch it again. Or I have to quit it and then launch it again.
Yep, Steam VR crash. That's what happened. And then again. Play just a few more minutes of it. This apparently you can't see when I have it. You know, right there. Still there. Okay. Ah, uh, left hand boat. Even though. video games. Oh, it's freebie. Oh, am I gonna fall down one of these planks? I have to fall down. That's too big a gap over there. That's too big a gap. There's nowhere to go. I can't cross the... Oh, I have to drop down. So I have to drop down there. There you go. Ooh. That's the thing I don't like about the Oculus is that it, even though I have it plugged in via cable, it's uh still losing battery because it it's charging but it's not enough to offset the drain but plugging it in makes it last longer but it's not quite as good as having one that's powered by a USB Oh, there's steps here. Okay. A lot of steps. Oh, it's another. Can I cross that gap? Oh, there's more. Okay. Ain't it? I have to follow. 
Okay. Careful. Yeah, I gotta follow me. Jump. But in VR, it definitely feels like falling. Yeah. I got no way. Oh God. That's. Ah. Oh my god, he's here! Oh, oh! Yeah, I was thinking maybe a little bit more story lore, but um, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's I'm thinking that's good, and that's that's a good stopping point at twelve percent. Wow, this is a bigger game than I thought. I thought it was much smaller. Uh, apparently, it's only twelve percent. Okay, well, I'll call this an end to this stream. But what I think we're gonna do then is on Sundays, we'll pick a random game to play. And if it's good, we'll come back to it a different day later in the week. So I'm liking this. I like this. I like... That was definitely a jump scare. But, um... Yeah, definitely, definitely a jump scare. But it's cool. I like, I like the mechanic of the painting and... Definitely do. That was. I actually wasn't sure if that guy was going to come back. I thought he might, but I wasn't sure. But either way, I like this, so we'll come back to this a later time. Not maybe, uh, probably this week, but you never know. Uh, I'm still kind of working on the schedule of how I want to do things, so not exactly sure how that's going to work, but. Right now, I'm planning on doing this on Sunday with a different game every Sunday and seeing how that game fares. If it's good, add it to a list and come back to it. I'll probably come back to this later this week since there's not that much of a list right now, so it's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, once there's a list, we'll have to like consider how that, how that works out. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. I've enjoyed trying it out. Definitely a way to get me to try out different games that I have in the backlog. So, if you're watching the VOD or if you're on YouTube, come check it out. Sunday nights at, I don't know, what was it, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, somewhere around there. And then... We'll kind of look through the library, see what looks interesting. Doesn't have to be a VR game. That's just what Sunuda wanted this week. But 
could be a, a standard one, but I'd, I'd like to pick it out in VR just to kind of give it a little bit of a splash of something different. Well, as it is, we'll come back to this later this week at some point, and 